Hey guys, gals, and ranch hands. Jason Stryker here uh, with Motorhome Rehab Ranch and Cooperative Motorworks. As uh, the episode today, I'm going to introduce one of our top two technicians here at the shop. So, uh, why don't you uh, introduce yourself? My name is Josh. I'm 33 years old. Uh, I come from West Palm Beach, Florida. Moved here to Orlando in 2009. I uh, started working at the scuba shop. Uh, where I met this guy. I then, uh, still staying at the scuba shop, ended up going into construction a little bit later on, uh, working for Unistrut, playing with, uh, it's like playing with Legos. Then I decided I didn't really want to travel so much and be away from home, so I came back to Orlando, still doing the scuba stuff. Jason uh, then hit me up and asked me if I wanted to work here, and I said, I said yes, I said yes rather quickly as well. <laughs> I did. And that's how I ended up here. Yeah, so like you said, I uh, I met him, I, I moved to Orlando in 2010, and so he'd already been working at the scuba shop a little bit there, and when I got certified there, that was my home shop where I first got into scuba diving, and he was the uh, scuba repair technician there at the shop, and uh, you know, so I mean, if you have any idea about scuba gear and stuff, you gotta service it pretty much every year, and so you gotta take these things apart clean them all up, you know, replace O-rings, stuff like that, and put them all back together and hope that they work underwater because it's a life support gear for an alien environment. So he's done repair on stuff that people's lives depended on. So, I mean, who better to have working on your equipment? So, I mean, I couldn't think of anyone better. So that's why I uh, scooped him up as soon as I could. And, uh, you know, we worked together at the scuba shop there for a while and stuff. And, uh, you know, just great to work with and, uh, you know, just, just does his job and, you know, you can count on him. He's very reliable. So, uh, right now we're sitting in one of his builds. So he did, uh, all the work pretty much on this coach. And, uh, there's some, some really neat stuff that we did on this one, uh, that he did that we hadn't really done on anything else before. So, uh, do you want to talk about any of the things in particular and then, well, we uh, rewired the dash. We went from the old, uh, the dumb glass fuses to the new uh, blade, blade fuses, the ATC. Uh, we put a new steering column in, uh, which is really, really nice. And look at this nice, nice steering wheel. Um, we got a nice double din um, kind of in the dash rather than popping out. So it gives it a nice flush look. Um, it's quite a bit of work done here. Quite a bit of wiring. Yeah, the entire chassis uh, he, he rewired. So pretty much every wire that makes this thing drive down the road, all the lights and all that stuff, he went back and redid it all updated so that there was no worries about reliability or anything like that, you know, with 45 plus year old coach. Um, so uh, why don't you uh, show us this little uh, backup camera thing you set up here? This one's pretty neat. It's a mirror while it's off. Uh, once you turn it on, it's a rear view camera. Uh, it also has a camera on the front, um, so you can record the front and the back. So if you get into any accidents, you have a record of it. Um, you can switch through them. Yeah, so I think that has like an impact sensor, right? If, it, if you're in a crash, accident, something like that, it records like it saves that into the SD card if you have one inserted which mm -hmm. I look like we didn't have that yet but uh, we'll probably put one of those in um, yeah. and then to get this to work we had to make a special bracket because it would not uh, would not work with uh, the old uh, the old mirror it was too ugly you know, turn the key off and the fuel pump running I don't know if you guys can hear that <laughs> so um, yeah, so I mean, he did beautiful work on all this. Uh, you know, really fantastic job. Um, you know, this was definitely an uh, impressive setup he did. Um, so what, what do you think about working here? Definitely enjoy it. Um, like I said, I get to be a Josh of all traits, which I definitely enjoy. Uh, problem solving and yeah, having people depend on you is it's a good feeling. Yeah, you do it wonderfully, I mean. <laughs> really uh really our, our go-to guy when we can't figure out how to solve a problem we just put put josh on it and 
he knocks it out. So, yeah. Anything else you want to say before uh, we close this out? Uh, no, that's Ricky uh, pulling up. <laughs> you can hear the uh, Harley in the background. So, all right. I think uh, that's that's pretty much it. Um, we'll be doing some other videos on some of the other uh, technicians here as well. All right. Thank you, guys.